In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a universal and flexible fabric material where you can easily change the color and the level of wear. I'll walk you through the entire process, step by step. My name is Nikita. On this channel, you'll find a lot of useful lessons on the topic of architectural visualization. Subscribe to don't miss new useful videos. Here's our object, and this is the final result we're going to achieve together. Let's open the Slate Material Editor and create a material from scratch. Right-click, Materials, Corona, Corona, Physical, MTL. I'll apply this material to our object. First, I'll set roughness to the maximum, as fabrics typically have no glossiness, and enable interactive rendering. For the base color slot, let's add a color. Right-click, Maps, Corona, Corona color, and connect the node to the base color slot. Let's change the color to dark red. Now, to understand how to set up a fabric material, we need to look at a reference. You can see the front surface of the object is dark, while the plane tangent to our view is brighter and seems to glow. We need to create this effect in our material. In Corona materials, just like in V-Ray materials, the sheen layer parameter is used for this. Increasing this parameter creates a glowing effect around the edge of the object. Adjusting the roughness parameter changes the depth of this glow. I'll set roughness to the maximum and reduce the amount to the minimum. By changing the color, you can adjust the glow color. You can also apply a texture to the color. Looking back at the reference, you'll notice the fabric glow has a dirt texture. I have a texture like that and I'll apply it to our fabric. I'll import the texture into 3ds Max and apply it to the amount slot. In instance mode, you can see the dirt texture on the object. However, the texture has visible seams because it's not seamless. To fix this, Corona Renderer offers a great tool. Right-click, Maps, Corona, Corona Tree Planner, and add this node to the chain. Apply the texture to the X slot and connect Corona Tree Planner to the sheen amount slot. Now, by adjusting the scale parameter in Corona Tree Planner, I can change the texture scale. To reduce the texture's impact, select the material, go to the sheen amount parameter, and lower the influence to around 20%. To add even more variation, I'll blend this texture with another one I have. I'll import the second texture into 3ds Max. To blend the textures, I'll use a composite node. Right-click, Maps, General, Composite. This node allows blending multiple textures with different modes, similar to Photoshop. I'll use two slots. Apply the old texture to the lower slot in Instance Mode and the new one to the upper slot, also in instance mode. I'll enhance the contrast of the new texture using a color correction node. Right-click, Maps, General, Color Correction. To quickly add the node to the chain, drag it with the left mouse button, hold Ctrl, and place it in the chain. Once the chain changes color, release the button. Switch to Advanced Mode in the Color Correction node and increase the contrast. Go back to the Composite node, enlarge the Preview window and find the most suitable blending mode. I think Subtract works best. Lower the Opacity parameter to reduce the texture's influence and connect the composite node to the sheen amount slot. Now you can see how much more varied the wear texture has become. To eliminate seams in the new texture, apply the same Corona Tree Planner node. Copy it by holding Shift, then drag and drop it into the chain with Control. Connect it to the X slot. OK, that's what we need. We could end here, but I want to improve our material. You can find a scene from this lesson on my Patreon. The link is in the description.
Let's temporarily disable the sheen amount parameter and work on the base color slot. I'll add some roughness texture to it. Copy the first roughness texture with Shift and blend it using a mix node. Right click, Maps, General, Mix. The mix node blends different colors or textures using a black and white map. Connect the original color to color 1 and connect the mix node to the base color slot. Use the roughness texture for the mix amount slot. For color 2, I'll connect the corona color node through a color correction node. Lower the brightness in the color correction node to see the changes. Apply Corona Tree Planner here as well. Re-enable the Sheen Amount chain and slightly reduce its intensity to tone down the fabric's glow. Next, I'll add a normal map to simulate fabric wrinkles. Import the normal map into 3ds Max and connect it to a Corona Normal node. Apply this node to the base bump slot. Enable Add Gamma to input in the Corona Normal node for proper functionality. Use Corona Tree Planner to eliminate seams and adjust the wrinkle intensity with its parameters. Finally, I'll add a bump map to the fabric. Import the bump texture, apply it to the additional bump slot, and adjust its scale using Corona Tree Planner. To tidy up the chain, select it and press C. To fine-tune the base color, I'll add a color correction node and adjust the brightness and contrast. Don't forget to leave a like if you find this lesson helpful. Share your opinion in the comments. Your feedback is important to me. See you next time!